Hi, Dan here. I'd like to give a demonstration of doing terrain masking against radar threats in armor and mace. You see here that I have a MH-47 and we're about to start our mission. What I'm going to be doing is flying over to an exfil site. However, there are radar threats between me and this exfil here. So we have an SA-15 right there, and an SA-15 right there. The best course of action is to use the canyon right there and use the hilltop uh, to mask my uh, presence from that SA-15 off to the east. Uh, once I'll finish flying by hand, um, and, and hopefully I'll make it to the Xville site uh, without getting engaged. Um, I'll go ahead and take off and then intentionally get uh, engaged by the SA-15 and try to do defensive maneuvers, whatever makes sense, um, just for demonstration purposes. And uh, once we're done, we're going to take the recording of this mission and then play it back in augmented reality. So now I'm going to get configured so that I can hand fly the aircraft. Okay, we are configured. So now I'm going to start my recording and we are going to play the mission. You can see on my right that I have a tactical display and I have a uh, RWR. So uh, I'm gonna fly along my flight path here and uh, we have the beams turned on in armor, so we can actually see the scan patterns of the SA-15s. Going to begin my turn down the valley. Okay, now we're lined up on the valley and we're gonna to head towards the Xville site. I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on that uh, SA-15 to the northeast as well. I may be detected as I come in, but I'll pop chaff and then uh, get closer to the terrain if that happens. It's going to be a little risky going over the last ridge before I get to the expel. Getting detected, chaff, chaff, and descending. Okay, looks through, like I'm through the worst of it. So I'm gonna begin my descent. Uh, 
Oh, went a little too high there. Okay, set her down. And uh, now I'm going to, uh, oh, I was picked up by the Northeastern SA-15 on that run. Um, okay, so now I'm going to take off and I'm going to intentionally get engaged by the SA-15 and do some defensive maneuvers while I do it. I can already tell from my tactical display I was probably hit a couple times. But we're going to go ahead and continue flying until uh, we break lock. Okay, and we got a break lock. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to stop the mission, and then we're going to stop the recording. And then next, we're going to go into augmented reality and show what this entire sequence looks like from uh, a 3D view so that we can see things from the, the SAM point of view, the aircraft point of view, and evaluate the terrain um, as I was making that uh, approach to the XFIL. All right, now we're going to show the mission back in augmented reality. I want to show this scene first. It's a little bit difficult to capture using the capture software in augmented reality, so I'm going to switch over to my monitor view so that you can see all of that at the same time. And uh, then we are going to play the mission, and we are going to watch what is what has happened in the mission. And we're going to start off here with uh, the aircraft beginning its turn into the valley. See the SA-15 in search. The other SA-15 just behind the cabinet. Let me bring it back. I'm going to assess the terrain there. Looks like that rise right there is going to be enough. I can see what the uh, other SA-15 is doing as well. Looking at the path, well, I couldn't really go much more to the northeast because then I would have been detected by him. So I guess was was actually the best path. If I would have come a little further south, uh, I would have been in clear view. And then I wouldn't have this rise right here to help me out. So that's where uh, I was detected, and I'm popping flares. I mean, chaff and flares. But I'm making the descent into that wadi right there, so that kind of helps out. And it looks like I've broke a lock. Yep, he's back in search.
Yep, and I think I just climbed just a little bit too high and then the northeastern Sam caught me on that. So I should have come off this a little bit shallower and then made that right hand turn and then I wouldn't have been detected by him. Okay, I'll be taking off again. Yep, I'm in within line of sight. There I am, popping extendables. Missiles in the air. Let's increase the scale so we can see just a little bit better. And we'll turn on the information so we can actually see what's going on. All right, and I was hit a few times. So uh, those defensive maneuvers didn't work out so well. That coupled with the short range really didn't help. Okay, so that is a overview of how uh, we can use Mason armor um, to do terrain masking against radar threats, and then to evaluate how well we did after the fact. Thanks for watching.